show here, weekly week report. Today is uh, Friday, uh, Sunday, 10th of September, 6.38 in the morning. Actually, markets closed. Uh, looking at November 2017 UK wheat chart. We've got the yearly chart in front of us. We've been looking at the SMA 60, which value stands at 141.87. Friday night's close, 140.25. We've identified um, swing support here at 140. Markets come down, test it through it, closing at 140.25. Let's go down into monthly and have a look. We can identify, we can see here, we've had now three months a uh, falling market. Uh, we can see here this swing high here, 142. We, uh, Car CR, you can see we're obviously falling a trend at the present moment. Let's pop down into the weekly. We can see here on here this swing high here at 142 twice uh, back in November and March. We can see the 60 SMA on the weekly has come in as support. We've now got three sort of sideways candles here. We can see the identify this falling market that we've had. Uh, we can see from last week's report that what I was looking at was a coming back into a range kind of trend that we've seen previously. We can clearly see that on this chart here with this price action here and where we are at the moment. Let's pop down into the daily. I've drawn this line across the support, um, the support zone of the resistance, 142. We can see here that back in November, it came up and tested it, uh, broke through the, uh, this would be on this chart, the 10 SMA, and then came down to 36 and then 32. In March of this year, we can see exactly the same, came up and tested it, hovered about, broke through the 10 SMA, and then came down to a level of 136.50. We can see uh, back in August, we broke through this support level here after breaking through the daily SMA 60. We then came down and we tested the previous level here, 136.50. We've now got the same price action going on. We've seen twice before. This candle here on Friday came down below the 10 SMA. Didn't close below it, exactly on it. I would look for a close below this on Monday. If this is the case, then we're looking for another test to go down to the 136.50 level. We can clearly see here this is back in a sort of range market now that we've seen previously. What we've got here, we've now got a low, and we've got a high, and we've got resistance at 142. So if you're looking at selling in the short term, next two, three, or a month, it may be uh, time to you know sell before this or as we get a signal, because we could see another you know five, four to five pound on the downside at the present moment. Obviously, if we get a, a serious close above 142, then this all changes. And likewise, if we get a serious close below the support level of 136, then we'd look to have opened the way down to further lows at 132. And I'll put up a bit of time next week. Thanks for watching.